One of my viewers noticed that many of my postcards are French. Now what subject normally comes to mind when someone says French postcards? Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. <coughs> French postcards became synonymous with what us Brits euphemistically call dirty cards. And there is good reason for that lurid association since many early cards were produced in France. The tragedy though is that as soon as something attains an even mildly racy reputation, you tend to forget everything else. It often overshadows all the other great cards such as these ingenious fantasy postcards where the photographic alchemist has combined elements from artwork and photos to create a new reality. Now, imaginative fantasy has probably been around since when our cavemen ancestors looked up at the night sky and told epic tales around the campfires. However, the advent of photography and advanced printing techniques conjured up scenes that were much more convincing and widely available at that time, submersing the viewer in surreal adventures years before surrealism actually arrived. So even an ordinary person in the street could now quite easily imagine themselves as an intrepid space traveller. Something way beyond the wildest dreams of our berry-gathering forefathers. Like with the dirty old men leering over saucy French postcards, it's sometimes difficult to look beyond the superficial. But if we examine them more closely, then they may reveal Chitty Chitty Bang Bang style cars, Mary Poppins-esque flying umbrellas more than half a century before the novels and films came out. Was Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin leafing through his postcard collection when he came up with the lyrics to the Stairway to Heaven song? Perhaps we should use these cardboard windows to foretell our own rosy futures. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video you might want to click on these other cardboard adventures.